Hey you guys, welcome back to Shop Dog Fabrication. So today, let's talk a little bit about voltmeter versus amp meter. Um, so in 2020, um, Rocky Mountain Race Week 2.0, or I guess Race Week 2.0, um, on the fourth day or fifth day, I think it was fifth day, last day, um, we were heading uh, over to Tulsa. Um, we had left about 5 a.m. in the morning, and um, first we hit a, uh, or I hit an armadillo about 6 a.m., so we had to pull over and check the car out for that. But then, um, about 6.50 in the morning, uh, a little while longer, it was still pitch black out. Well, maybe the sun was starting, just starting to creep up a little bit. But uh, all of a sudden, we're cruising along, and my shift light just starts Flick, uh, flickering on my tack. Um, didn't think nothing of it for the first couple minutes, you know, just cruising along. I looked down at the amp meter gauge and, you know, the amp meter is just kind of sitting in the center, not really doing anything. Um, so I didn't think anything of it, thinking maybe it was a grand issue or something going on. And then all of a sudden, you know, it started flickering a little more and then I felt a little miss. And at that point in time, I knew something was wrong. So, uh, you know, I was looking over at my heart meter gauge, turned my headlights on, of course, and then everything just kind of like, <laughs> or off, I should say, and everything came back up. And then when I turned it back on, of course, everything went, you know, and went down. Um, so I knew there was something wrong with the charging system. Um, so I was, you know, hit my high low beams to kind of let the guys know that were ahead of me hey i'm having problems pull you know and i just pulled over as quick as i could trying to save the battery so um we got pulled over you know they they backed up because they were like a quarter mile ahead of me something like that eh, maybe not that far but they were a little ways ahead of me and so they backed up um and i was like man i got nothing you know we tried to hit the key and of course it was just like click 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 you know nothing so the battery was pretty much done at that point in time so Fast forward, you know, to a month or so ago, got to talking with a buddy of mine and he's like, man, why are you still running an amp meter gauge? And I told him the story. He's like, dude, you really should be running an eight volt meter gauge. So what I've done is uh, I've installed a voltmeter in the car and I dumped the amp meter uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, I've got a couple of uh, video clip, or I got a video clip I'll show you, um, you know, driving down the road where I'm talking about my gauges, you know, and how everything is looking good for a test drive and you know and i talk a little bit about the voltmeter all right guys so uh, remember what i was talking about regarding amperage versus voltage now you can see the volt gauge you know is looking really good um you know 13.8 volts basically uh right around that area which is exactly what so now i'll have a much better indication of my charging system going forward instead of using an amp meter gauge you know we'll use a voltage gauge now know if i've got volt meter starting to fail or not you know belt slippage whatever so this will be a much better indicator indicator of what's going on and i recommend that you guys get rid of any amp meter gauge you may be using and switch to a volt meter Gauge. But I'll also show you a video clip of the alternator why it failed. All right, guys, so what I've done is I've taken the alternator apart and started looking in here. And what you'll notice is right here, well, this should kind of look like that. There should be a connector there, and it should be connected to that stud and nut. And you notice, well, there's the copper winding, and there's nothing there. The other thing you'll notice is on this one, well, see if I can do it one-handed. Nah, eh, not really, but it's broke too. So this connection is broke. I don't know if you can see it better now. That connection broke, and that connection is missing. The reason I'm kind of swapping it out is, you know, there's two main wires big wires, right, that feed from, you want to have kind of two big wires, not just a, a couple of little, you know, um, 12 gauge kind of going into it. You know, you need something more like, a, I think like a six um, gauge kind of feeding them. Um, so that way they can take the load and you can get a good reading. But, you know, those aren't circuit protected. So if one of those suckers shorts out, 
you know, there's going to be sparks everywhere. So it really wasn't, I didn't feel very confident and safe either. Um, now, granted, I had it protected the best I could, but right, anything can happen. Um, so I got rid of the app meter, switched out to the voltmeter, and the voltmeter, right, is going to show me, hey, I'm running 13.8, 14 volts, you know, as I'm cruising. But if I start having charging system issues um, or battery issues, battery issues, you know, the voltmeter, right, I'll be able to see what the voltage is doing. It should be running that 13, 8, 14 volt range, or is it running more like 13 volts, you know, like maybe the belt is slipping, um, you know, something like that, and I'm not getting full charge. Uh, I definitely need to improve my setup on my uh, alternator so it's a little better uh, setup than what I have currently. Um, the last two years, it's been giving me problems, so I need to kind of fix that too. Um, you know, this uh, Equus was very simple to wire up. Basically, all it is is ground and a simple little 12 gauge wire that I wired up to power somewhere and it just kind of gives you an indication of what your battery voltage is. Uh, some cars you can just buy like the little cigarette lighter, plug it into the cigarette lighter and it's got a little voltage you know readout on that. So you can do something simpler if you want to like that. Um, so there's different ideas out there that you can incorporate into your car. So I hope this helps you out make a decision uh, to go with a voltmeter versus an amp meter. Take care, guys. Have a great day. Get out your shop. Have some fun. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the little bell, as they say, for future content. Talk to you all later in the next video. Peace out.